Hello and welcome to In a Minute. I'm your host, Pat, and today is Tuesday, September 6th. Today, for the weather, we'll have a high of 86 and a low of 70 with a 42% chance of rain. Let's start off the week with some highlights from Friday Night Football at Crescent. There weren't many highlights for the Fountain Inn Fury on Friday night as they fell to Crescent 49-0. Zach Madden did record his second interception of the season, and Caden Carnes broke a long run setting up a scoring opportunity. The Fury will be back in action this Friday at Carolina High. This week in sports, girls tennis will make history as they travel to Blue Ridge for their first ever match. We talked to Emiliana to learn more about the team. Your first match, the excitement of kind of making history by make, being the first tennis team to play for Fountain High School. Um, I think every everyone on the team is kind of nervous, but I think they're all really excited because I think everyone's gotten a lot closer these past few weeks. Um, well, first it started with like eight girls and as time went by, more girls started to join in. So now in total we have 10 and we have like four coaches. So everyone gets enough like practice time and like individual time with the coaches. So I think it's a good team and everybody's been like growing together. My goal is like as an individual would be just to like get better at the sport and everyone on the team gets to know them better. Same with everybody else, because I think just supporting each other makes it a lot better and more fun for everyone. Tomorrow, Varsity Volleyball will travel to Greer. Both JV and Varsity will open region at Wren on Thursday. JV football will host the Carolina Trojans on Thursday at six, and Varsity will travel cross county to face the Trojans Friday night. Remember to bring in canned food for your house to gain points. You can bring these to Coach Hoffman in the morning. That's all for this episode of In a Minute. Make sure to check out our YouTube and socials, and we'll see you tomorrow.